the AFU attempted to strike oil depots in Jeleznogorsk, Dolgoy, and Anna. As a result, an oil reservoir in Jeleznogorsk was hit. The fire was extinguished. There were no casualties. In Stari Borovici, a local airfield was targeted. The Lancet hit and destroyed the Malakit radar station. Russian forces launched a strike on the Chuhuiv airfield in the Kharkiv region. The command and control center at the facility became the target of the strike. In Pokrovsk, on the temporarily occupied territory of the DPR, the electric motor plant workshop came under attack. There is no exact data on the results of the strike, but the facility previously accommodated AFU equipment and personnel. Meanwhile, heavy fighting is taking place in the Torsk salient area. Russian troops are conducting an offensive on the village of Terny. According to the latest reports, the Russian armed forces have approached the outskirts, but have not yet managed to enter the village. The enemy has repulsed the attack. Meanwhile, west of Bakhmut, Russian troops are advancing in several areas. The Russian armed forces are conducting sorties on the southwestern outskirts of Ivanivska, fighting on Tereshkovoy Street, as well as continuing the assault on the neighborhoods of Klishchivka and Bodanivka. West of Avdivka, the AFU are counterattacking at the Berdishi, or Livka, Tonenka line. Seven brigades have been redeployed to the area. The main AFU efforts are concentrated on the western outskirts of Berdichi. West of Donetsk, Russian forces are engaged in fierce fighting on the southern outskirts of Krasnohorivka. Upon reaching the railroad, the assault groups have entrenched in the area of Lermontova and Zaliznichna streets. Southwest of Donetsk, Russian forces are advancing in the central part of Heorhivka. At the moment, the Russian armed forces have gained a foothold north of the Osikova River after knocking the enemy out. In the Vuladar direction, Russian units managed to knock the AFU out of several strongholds west of Pobjeda. Advancing in this area makes it possible to increase the onslaught on Heorhivka from the south, as well as to conduct an offensive on Kostiantinivka. The enemy intensified the strikes along the front line using aviation, artillery, and mortars. Meanwhile, at the Kizomis, Velotensky line, the Pivden Special Forces assault groups are preparing for sorties on the Kinburn Peninsula and the Tendra Spit.